Hello, my friends. It's been a while. Nice to see you again. All right, as I mentioned in my last update, we've been in heavy development mode on Catalyst Black, but we're emerging from our dev hibernation to drop you a really fun update, chat a bit about where we're heading and what we've accomplished, and that is patch 0.9. Keep in mind that we're on a path here. It is super fun for us to share with you the things that you can see and play in this update, but there is a lot that we're working on that you cannot yet see and play, building blocks for the future, upcoming patches. All that to say, we've been working on a lot more than is necessarily represented in this particular update, but it is super fun all the same. On to the details. Top of the list for 0.9 is a new game mode that we're calling Clash. With Clash, we wanted to create a short, simple game mode that could easily engage new players, but also be enjoyable for longtime vets. It's something that players will be able to get in and out of easily, complete matches, gain XP, test builds, you know, just go to town. We love what our other modes do for the game, but we felt we were missing a more approachable way to play, so... Now we have it. Okay, so how does Clash work? Take out enemy players and monsters to gain points. First team to reach the cap or to have the most points when time runs out takes the win. We do have a bounty system in this mode where taking down an enemy player increases your point value, making you a more interesting target for the other team. This caps at three and is visible above the health bar of all players and monsters. That's it. So get out there, Clash it up. Let us know what you think. Do you like the mode? Do you like playing on smaller maps or bigger maps? I believe right now we have two small maps in Traveler and Enclave represented and one large map with Azure Plateau in the pool. Next, we've been slowly upping the vibe of the gameplay feel by adding some quality of life elements. Here's a list of a few of them. We've added a weapon reload indicator that displays on your ammo bar. We've pulled the aim reticle up so that it is always visible above the game geometry. We've added ambient sound to all maps, including 3D sounds for waterfalls and cliffs. I think we managed to get all the maps covered, but I don't know. Let me know if I missed something. We've added a ton of new sound effects for weapons and primal attacks. And we've added capture sounds for cores and outposts. There's probably more here but I think that's the best that I can recall at the moment. Other broader changes to the game include adding Core Rush to the rotating game schedule. This is to allow Clash a chance at becoming the ever-present game mode. Let us know what you think. We've introduced a new character named Delith, or Del, to carry the heavy lifting of tutorializing the game. First trip to the Welkin Isles, I see. The name's Del. Let me show you around. Hoping for a chance to tell more of this character's story at some point, but for now, I'll be down to see all your speculations. Huge shout out to Michelle Bailey, who's been helping us voice this character. She's been remarkable to work with and has put a ton of heart into her contributions. More to come from her for sure. And we've squashed a ton of bugs, including a huge effort to exercise open bracket, player, close bracket, who's been slaughtering players in the arena on Eventide. Find the next one. This is not a victory. Guys, this is a rough bug for us. We put a lot of energy into this one and can't reproduce it, so hopefully it is gone. But please keep us posted. We want open bracket player close bracket to go away now. <laughs> Beyond that, check out Zekin's complete balance updates and changes over on the official patch notes, catalystblack.com. Please join us in the Discord, discord.gg slash catalystblack. We're making a game, and it's on a pretty cool track. I cannot wait to share more with you. Much love to all of you out there and never settle for the lesser evil. <laughs>